Imagine an island so densely populated with venomous snakes that it's considered the deadliest island on the planet. Welcome to Ilha da Queimada Grande, or as it's more commonly known, Snake Island. Secluded off the coast of Brazil, in the Atlantic Ocean, it is home to a snake density that is unmatched anywhere else in the world. For every square meter there's at least one serpent lurking, making this island a place that's teeming with danger at every turn. This sinister paradise is the only known home of the critically endangered Golden Lancehead Viper, a species of pit viper and one of the most venomous snakes on Earth. Its venom is so potent that it can melt human flesh. Due to the extreme risk posed by these creatures, the Brazilian government has made it illegal for anyone to visit this island, unless they have a very specific set of skills and a very good reason. Snake Island is as fascinating as it is deadly. The isolation of this island has created a unique ecosystem that is both captivating and horrifying. Imagine an island, just over 43 hectares in size, cut off from the mainland for thousands of years, creating a closed-loop evolutionary petri dish. Over time, the snakes on this island had to adapt to their environment and the limited resources it provided. They evolved to become more venomous than their mainland counterparts to ensure their survival, making them a deadly force to be reckoned with. The island's unique biodiversity is not only a testament to the power of evolution, but also a stark reminder of the delicate balance of nature. A balance that can tip towards danger when left undisturbed for millennia. But why is this island so important? And why do some scientists risk their lives to study its slithering inhabitants? The answers to these questions lie in understanding the fascinating yet deadly world of these venomous creatures. Now let's delve deeper into what makes this island so perilous and fascinating. Slithering through every nook and cranny of this island are the deadly Golden Lancehead Vipers. This island of course is none other than the infamous Snake Island. A place that is as fascinating as it is deadly, thanks to its unique inhabitants. The Golden Lancehead Vipers are a species of pit vipers, and they are not your average garden snakes. They are a highly venomous species known for their potent neurotoxic venom which is among the most deadly in the world. Unlike other venomous snakes that tend to strike, release and then track their prey, golden lanceheads keep their grip on their prey after the bite. Their venom quickly immobilizes the prey which is then ingested whole. One might wonder, how many of these deadly creatures inhabit the island? Well, estimates suggest that there are between 2,000 to 4,000 golden lancehead vipers on Snake Island. That's an astounding one to five snakes per square meter. Imagine, a world where every step you take, you could be inches away from a fatal bite. But what makes these vipers unique to Snake Island? The answer lies in their isolation. The Golden Lancehead vipers are endemic to Snake Island. That means they are found nowhere else in the world. Over the years they've adapted to their environment, developing a fast-acting venom to catch birds that stop over during migration. The Golden Lancehead vipers are a testament to the power of evolution adapting to their environment and thriving where few other creatures can. They are a stark reminder of the raw, untamed, and deadly beauty of nature. Yet, there's a mystery that shrouds these deadly inhabitants. If this island is so deadly, how did these vipers come to be here? Were they always here, or did they arrive by some twist of fate? The Golden Lancehead Vipers rule this island, but how did they end up here? That's a question we'll delve into in our next scene. Stay tuned. Every creature has a story of evolution, and the Golden Lancehead Vipers are no different. The tale begins millions of years ago when rising sea levels separated Snake Island from mainland Brazil. This isolation left a small population of snakes stranded on the island. Over time these snakes had to adapt to their new environment, a place devoid of any land mammals, their usual source of food. With no other option, the snakes turned to a diet of migratory birds. However, catching these birds was no easy task. To survive, the Golden Lancehead Vipers evolved to have a faster-acting venom, potent enough to incapacitate their avian prey almost instantaneously, and so the snakes turned a potential crisis into an evolutionary advantage. Their venom, now five times stronger than that of their mainland counterparts, ensured their survival. The absence of predators on the island allowed the snake population to grow, leading to the snake-dense island we know today, but it's not just their venom that evolved. The Golden Lancehead Vipers also developed a unique tail that wiggles and writhes, mimicking the movement of worms and insects. This clever adaptation lures curious birds within striking distance, making the hunt a little easier for these crafty serpents. Another fascinating aspect of their evolution is their size. The snakes on Snake Island are significantly larger than their mainland counterparts. The reason for this is a principle known as the Island Rule. 
which suggests that in isolation, small animals tend to evolve to become larger, while large animals become smaller. And so, over the years, through a series of adaptations, the Golden Lancehead Vipers have become perfectly suited to their isolated island home. Their story is a testament to the power of evolution and the incredible adaptability of life. This tale of isolation and evolution is fascinating but what does it mean for the rest of the world? While Snake Island might be a no-go for most, it's a goldmine for scientists. This seemingly inhospitable island home to the Golden Lancehead Vipers is a unique environment that has piqued the interest of the scientific community. But why is that? Well, it all comes down to the snake's venom. The Golden Lancehead Vipers are one of the few species whose venom has evolved to be exceptionally potent due to their unique diet of birds. Their venom is faster acting than that of their mainland relatives, a trait developed to quickly immobilize their airborne prey. But it's not just the potency of the venom that's fascinating. The venom of these snakes is also chemically complex, containing a cocktail of different proteins and enzymes. Among these are molecules that affect blood pressure, blood clotting, and muscular function. And it's these properties that have made the Golden Lancehead Vipers an intriguing subject for medical research. Scientists have been studying this venom in the hopes of finding new treatments for a range of health conditions. For instance, some of the proteins found in the venom have shown potential for use in drugs to treat heart disease and blood clots. Other components of the venom are being investigated for their potential use in pain relief medication. This research isn't just theoretical. In fact, a medication used to treat heart conditions called captopril was developed using a synthetic version of a peptide found in the venom of a related viper species. This demonstrates the real-world potential of these studies. But it's not just about developing new drugs. The study of these snakes and their venom also contributes to our understanding of evolution, ecology, and the biochemistry of venom. Therefore, despite its reputation as a dangerous place, Snake Island is an invaluable resource for scientific discovery. The unique environment and its deadly inhabitants offer a wealth of information, waiting to be unlocked by those brave enough to venture there. The deadly venom of these snakes may hold the key to saving lives, a paradox that makes Snake Island even more intriguing. Despite the dangers, the allure of Snake Island has tempted many to explore its forbidden shores. Over the years, this isolated island, brimming with lethal serpents, has drawn the bravest and most daring of explorers. Yet, their stories serve not as tales of triumphant exploration, but as chilling reminders of the island's deadly inhabitants. In the early 20th century, a lighthouse keeper and his family were said to have ventured onto the island, only to meet a gruesome end at the fangs of the Golden Lancehead Vipers. Some say their screams can still be heard on a still night, carried on the wind across the sea. Even more recently a group of documentary filmmakers embarked on a quest to capture the island's unique ecosystem. They came armed with protective gear and the best of intentions, but the island's inhabitants were not welcoming. Several crew members suffered bites, and their harrowing evacuation served as a stark reminder of why this island remains off-limits. Despite these cautionary tales, the island continues to lure the curious and the brave. The Brazilian government strictly forbids public access to Snake Island, and for good reason. The risk of snakebite is extraordinarily high and the Golden Lancehead Viper's venom is potent enough to melt human flesh. Yet the allure of Snake Island extends beyond the thrill of danger. It's a living testament to evolution in isolation, a beacon for scientists eager to study the unique properties of the Viper's venom. It's a rare and pristine ecosystem, untouched by human intervention a place where nature is allowed to run its course, unfettered and undisturbed. Snake Island, a place of deadly beauty, continues to fascinate and terrify us, an untamed corner of the world where nature truly rules. It stands as a stark reminder of our place in the natural world, a world that we may observe but must respect and preserve. A world that, in its most dangerous corners, continues to mystify and captivate us, pulling us ever closer to the heart of the wild.